This is definitely not a toy. Mavic Pro with the Fly More combo. Here it is, our controller. Maximum range of 4.3 miles, which is really seven kilometers. Why do you need a drone? Because you need to fly and spy on your neighbors and monitor your girlfriend. This is the best portable hobbyist type drone. It is so freaking tiny. If you have the opportunity to buy the combo kit, please do because you get an awesome deal. The resolution on the camera is 4K. This guy is not waterproof. I can't wait to test this and create some awesome, awesome videos. find all of the products on our show on unboxingarmy.com and in this case of course dji.com we got ourselves a dji mavic pro drone when you think of a drone you're thinking of the phantom 3 4 they're big big drones mavic is the most compact tiny controller they need a phone for but this guy came in a box what's in the box now what's even more surprising is that the drone is even smaller than this box this is the fly more combo uh, what's in the box and therefore it includes two additional boxes on top of the drone what's in the fucking box so let's get right into it why do you need a drone because you need to fly and spy on your neighbors because you need to go and monitor your girlfriend your boyfriend follow your pet you want to know what they're doing there's so many uses for this product so it is definitely worth a seventeen hundred dollar investment that's crazy that's canadian not american american it's about a thousand bucks or so Whoa! As always, you can find all of the products on our show on unboxingarmy.com, businessentertainmentshow.com, or the Uber Experiment, and in this case, of course, DJI.com. Now, the reason I got a combo is because, actually, I'm going away to Mexico, and I wanted to film the resort and the surrounding areas of Mexico. This is not a paid advertisement. This is my impression based on the fact that I need a drone. And this particular drone happened to be the best reviewed one on Amazon. Now the first box is the camera bag. You wanna make sure that the drone is protected. Plus you want something nice and small and portable to carry. Now I don't know if you can take drones on airplanes quite yet, but I hope that you can. I actually have to check on that in the next couple of hours. So this DJI bag is leather. It has actually quite a lot of pockets and sleeves to make sure that all your stuff is traveling with you. You've got a flap that's sealed by Velcro. This opens up a pocket right here that is protected by a zipper. So here is your zipper. Here's the first pocket. So this will fit the hard drive. This will fit maybe those external batteries because the fly combo comes with two extra batteries, some additional blades for your drone, the car charger. We've got our strap. I really love the fact that the design is modern and cool and that it's so small. It is so freaking tiny. Like, do you guys know how big the drones are they're massive now three years later when they started becoming mainstream they are so compact and tiny it is unbelievable just think where we're gonna be with technology in the next two three years as a bonus you get yourself some silica gel do not throw it away we're gonna open this here we've got uh two sort of cross sections inside the bag at the top here we've got yet another zipper and it's a see-through mesh so here you can put your sd cards maybe the propellers the extra batteries i would put in here on the sides you got your meshes handle at the very top very thick and it's padded the back has got an additional layer of leather so if you have it against your person 
it's going to not scuff up too much and rip the back. Same with the bottom. They continue with the leather on the bottom. So if you keep putting this on hard surfaces or dirt or anything outdoorsy. The very top, you also have one more zipper right in here. Next, we've got the Fly More Combo box. This is the DJI Mavic Pro with the Fly More Combo. One of the main reasons that I decided to get a, uh, a DJI Combo is because the batteries only last so long. As you know, if you're filming anything and you only have 20 minutes to 25 minutes of life, you're gonna be pretty annoyed. And you're gonna need to get one, or at least you will get one for sure after you use the Mavic a couple of times. Which means that if you have the opportunity to buy the Combo Kit, please do because you get an awesome deal. For an extra $300, which is really what this costs, you're gonna get yourself about five to $600 worth of items. First, we've got the battery charging hub. So a lot of people may believe that this charges all your batteries at the same time. No, you can hook up all the batteries during the charging cycle. It charges the first battery that's hooked up first. Once that is finished, it moves on to the next battery and so on. And there's an additional hub that you can buy that's, I believe, 70 to 80 bucks by a different manufacturer that charges all of them at the same time. But this particular one does not. Next, we've got our batteries. You get two of them. So there's the other one. And moving on, you get your car charger. Now this is really important because if you are on the road and if you're going camping with your family, on a trip, maybe not as much because, well, you're not gonna be driving more than likely. But uh, if you're going on a trip, this is a really handy tool. You can go and film your footage and then you can either charge your battery or you can uh, charge your Mavic with this little device. So that's really cool that they included this. We've got the battery two power bank adapter. And lastly, we've got the bonus folding propellers now the propellers are here in case you run the drone in the woods or twisted it it fell because of the wind and it hit the side of a mountain or side of the building and then you found the drone but unfortunately the props uh, got damaged now you can of course get all of these parts individually on the internet from dji but get yourself a flight combo kit like it, you just can't go wrong with this so you can find all this stuff and coupons and discounts by opting in to the newsletter on one of the three websites the unboxing army if you want to be part of the unboxing army go on there and send us a message it's a really neat concept i want to help you guys grow your audience and i want to help you succeed in becoming an unboxer a travel blogger or just a youtuber anything you want when you get to open really cool stuff and share it with the world i know you've been waiting for this so let's open that up it's... so here it is we've got our controller oh it's actually pretty heavy three four times as heavy as your cell phone We've got your cables, which are enclosed in here. And then we've got our charging port, micro USB cable. And then we've got a cable that connects your phone to the controller. We've got our manual. Inside the manual, you've got your DJI Care Refresh. So this is for your warranty card. So you have a QR code and it tells you exactly how to claim a service call if something happens to your drone, if you're under warranty. You've got your manual, battery guidelines, what's inside the box card, and we've got ourselves a quick start guide right here. Finally, underneath, we've got your adapters. We've got some protective padding, and then you've got your one prop and your second set of props. These are not the extras. The extras come in the fly combo, but these are the props that you will attach to the actual drone for total. We've got the controller. This controller has the latest long range transmission technology called OcuSync. So it gives you a maximum range of 4.3 miles, which is really seven kilometers. There's an onboard LCD right here that keeps the screen updated as the aircraft moves along. So it shows you all of the latest data. This controller has to be connected to a phone in order to display what the aircraft is seeing. So you will go and attach either an Android device or an iOS device. And it even, it fits most 5.5 screens or lower but it also allows you to plug your iPad mini and connect that as well so you can have a bigger screen to see what you're doing. I mean that that actually feels really good really solid 
Um, it's not coming out either because of the rubber of the arms of the controller. Now, if you want to plug your controller in, you will take this and you simply pull them out, pull them on both sides, and then you just pull. It's going to feel a little heavy because they're sturdy. That's good. That's quality. And then this is where you're going to slide in your device. So by default, you've got the RC cable connector, which connects the controller. And then the output is the lightning. Now, if depending on the devices that you're using, you may need to swap this in. So you're also provided with the rc cable to usb type c connector so this is for your newer phones or you want to swap in and throw in this guy which is the micro usb so you've got your lightning micro usb and finally you've got your type c so these are the three cables that you can switch in depending on the device that you're putting in here finally you've got your standard micro usb so you can charge other items with it so we're going to plug the first end to our phone right here now at the same time we're going to try and slide in the phone through the slits and we'll see if it fits with this case so we can see that it's not actually fitting inside the rubbery things but if we hold it tight enough then the rubber against the rubber is going to hold and it won't fall so the good news is your case stays on and then we're going to plug the other edge in here tighten that a little more and then here is our controller additionally uh consider getting yourself a sunshade a sunshade is going to make it easier for you to see what's happening on the screen because obviously you're going to be filming in sunny and tropical destinations so it's nice to have a little canopy you've got your lcd screen here so this displays the data from the drone so you've got your control stick paddles here so this controls your drone and obviously when you're up in the air you've got your antennas here so they rotate in and they fold up you've got your power button right here rth button right here in the corner flight pause button right here marked in red the usb port is right here nestled in underneath if you can see this is where the provided cable snaps in and finally six you've got your flight mode switch which has support right there on the side on the top of the joystick controller you're gonna find a uh, button with a red circle so that is obviously your record button so if you're gonna activate the recording mode on the drone you press this and then here you've got your shutter button so if you want to take a screen grab of whatever the drone is saying you press this and takes a photo the resolution on the camera is 4k so yes it's recording and capturing at 4k resolution it captures the pictures at 12 megapixels however when you're previewing it on the screen the maximum output that it does is going to give you 1080p output on your screen which is a wi-fi so you don't necessarily have to be connected to the internet it's just going to use its own wi-fi connection if that's at a distance because remember it does travel quite far up to seven kilometers it's going to downgrade it to 720p this here is the the camera settings dial right above the shutter and then this is the video settings dial that allows you to change in between different modes for the video camera on the drone gimbal itself there's two additional buttons at the very bottom here here and here and these are customizable buttons that you can program to do a macro setting or anything else that you want to uh, use quite often so there you go so that is the joystick controller and then you've got your mavic it's heavy it's not light what is it maybe like two pounds three pounds i will do my best to share with you the top things about this guy and what you should watch out for this obviously is a uh, new iteration now uh, we're filming this in 2017 and i guess the first series of shipments didn't come with this rubbery gimbal protector so this does it covers the plastic dome that covers your gimbal so there's a little ridge on the bottom that kind of sticks in here and that's how it stays put now you obviously don't want to be flying with this it's only here to protect this from scratches and scuffs and whatnot now one thing that you want to consider is that if you're going to be buying the extra warranty on this guy you have 48 hours after you turn on the drone to contact dji support if it's brand new and only then will you be able to really quickly and easily get yourself the upgraded protection for the drone whether you want the cheap one that just protects the the wear and tear where you get your your free blades which is i believe 100 us or whether you want the upgraded versions and there's even i heard a loss protection one where if you pay enough they will even replace your drone if you lose it in the mountain over the ocean anywhere you want and i will definitely be picking that warranty because my main purpose is to fly this over those types of areas so a warranty definitely is something that i will be considering since this is a 1500 dollars toy disclaimer this is definitely not a toy this is the best portable 
hobbyist type drone that's currently available in the market of course you can get bigger drones that will allow you to do much more and they're gonna be a lot more stable in the air you can fly them further and higher but it will not be this portable you will not be able to carry this around you're gonna get a big giant backpack you're gonna get a big giant briefcase and it's gonna limit you this this is so subtle you can go on a vacation and then you can just pull it out set it on a park as long as you know how to fly correctly you can take off and start filming immediately 20 30 minutes later you're gonna pack it in and then you go on to two other destinations because we've got the extra batteries so between three batteries and this guy right here and a camera bag you're gonna film three awesome destinations that will give you about an hour and a half of footage let's just say an hour and 10 minutes conservatively and then you're gonna go home unload the footage then you plug in the charging batteries into the, the hub and it charges overnight and then the next day you're ready to go again that's how simple and portable this is okay so we're gonna go and open that up the two propellers are here and then the other blades go on the very top over here there's these little legs that clip in here you can see there's three spots for them so we're gonna just line them up hold on to the rotor you press in and then you clip and twist and then that's gonna lock those legs in place basically you pull this out you pull this out it's starting to look like a little robot military type drone and then you pull you fold this down okay so don't be pulling out that way all four and there you go so here it is in all its glory the battery is on the top to take the battery out there's two buttons on each side of the battery compartment press it and then the battery will basically just kind of slide out up words this way so you can see that it's almost like a cartridge it snaps in the battery life on this apparently it's claimed to be about 30 minutes maybe even 22 minutes depending on the settings and the, the reason the battery life would vary is because the the drone itself depending on where it is and how windy it is is going to be adjusting for the winding conditions so one motor could work harder or less or more or less so all of that has a bearing on what happens to the battery it's a uh, lithium battery 3830 milliamps for this guy so times that by three you got yourself 10,000 milliamps so yeah it should last about an hour and a half so to charge the battery you grab portable charger and then you plug the battery in like so fly more combo does come with a uh, battery charging hub we're gonna open this right now that allows you to plug all the batteries at the same time and as I said earlier it will not charge all of the batteries simultaneously one's gonna finish then the next one's gonna kick in it's got four things to plug in you plug it in like this right and then you plug in the rest in here wall charger but you're gonna plug it into one device underneath here right in here so you plug one in and then you charge up to four units very very important that you have this or you can get yourself an additional hub that charges them all at the same time and that will set you back another 70 bucks an additional thing to note is that this guy is not waterproof so let's fold this in now be careful when you're folding these because you do not accidentally want to bend these the wrong way and then just like rip them off this here some people have flown with it i heard so definitely protects your drone if it ever were to fall you may get some sort of a feedback because this dome is off so you may want to clean it if you're going to keep it on otherwise this does clip in so move the for drone forward and then grab it from underneath and then just kind of like press in and then unhinge it down pivot down once the dome is off you're going to reveal that there's yet another piece of plastic holding the gimbal in place so you do the same thing you press it in and then you slide that out and this will release the gimbal obviously you always want to travel with this thing on because it is a very fragile piece of equipment and so make sure you always always as soon as your drone is down grab this stick it in place lean it forward press it in here and now we're gonna bend it in and it clips in so that's how you put the dome on now the reason you don't want to fly with this on is because there's gonna be a lot of heat being generated up in the air no matter how windy it is so if you go and you fly with this on it may potentially damage the drone now I haven't heard anybody damaging the drone and I do know that the first iteration of these did not come with a slit so there's no way for the air to escape make sure you always remember to plug this in 
Now let's see what fits in the bag. So we're gonna open this bag. We're gonna face facing in like this. That's obviously the most optimum way is you put the, the gimbal face down and then it closes very nicely. Like our additional props, we're gonna stick them back into the pouch. So let's put them in here. We're gonna take our battery. Well, one is obviously going on the drone. The controller goes in here. There we go. So now our controller, our drone, our props are in here. The zipper is in the front. One battery fits. So we can carry one extra battery, I suppose. Two batteries, which will fit. One battery in here, that makes it three. I guess for the SD card, USB sticks, you can stick them in here or in here. You will not be able to take your portable charger. We're gonna have to get a secondary bag. That's it. Tune in to my other videos. I'm gonna be posting a couple videos on like tips on what to do. Hopefully I won't lose this guy in Mexico. The next review is gonna be about how to start this thing after it's charged and what to do first. So this is my Mavic Pro review. Thank you to DJI for making such an incredible product. And I can't wait to test this and create some awesome, awesome videos. And please subscribe if you like watching my videos and for other unboxing reviews, tune into this channel. And for giveaways, I have another channel, Mad Artist Publishing. We're going to be doing some bigger giveaways there just because it's a bigger channel. Make sure you guys watch the businessentertainmentshow.com. That's where I teach you about how to really, really, truly live your dream and be passionate about what you do and making a living out of it. So thank you again. I'm Marcin. Out.